cool kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. You have just tuned in to the Mag Nerd Podcast. Your home for everything in music, anime, and gaming. What is up guys, Shonen of the King here, back with another video, and today I'm bringing you my review of the Marvel's Avengers Endgame Thor. Uh, this is Mafex number 149, and I am super excited to be bringing you this review. So as you guys know, I uh, typically do versus review, so what I'll do is I'll review the first, I'll take a look at the Mafex figure on its own, and then I'll bring in the uh, Marvel Legend counterpart. And then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison, and then you guys will be able to tell on your own if the Marvel Legends one will work for you, or will it be the uh, uh, Mafex version. Um, again, if you guys are haven't already, I've done one of these for the Captain America. I've done these for multiple different characters. So make sure you guys check out my playlist and uh, check out my channel. You'll be able to find great stuff like that. And again, if you would love to, uh, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel and support the channel by... Uh, thumbs up and hitting the bell notifications because again uh, YouTube's algorithm is all screwy. All right, so shameless plugs aside. Let's get into this review So again, we can get a nice little close-up. You can see here. We have the Thor He comes with two different heads two different moon years. He comes with a set of hands and a lot of uh, Effect pieces and again, you really can't tell but there is this other uh, Axe in the back. Uh, it looks like there are two of those as well on the side here we have thor with some of his electricity pulsating out and then on the back you can kind of see a full list of everything that he comes with so it looks pretty damn good all right so let's go ahead and get this thing open all right so we have the thing out of the packaging as you can see here uh comes in th three separate layers so first and at the bottom oops look at that making a mess already we have the uh, Monir in its electricity form stick is nice and thick we have it in its bare bones mode we'll get a better look at it later and then we have a bunch of the effects pieces that started flying everywhere but again if you guys have seen my um, Avengers Endgame Thor review you would have seen these before but again, we'll take a big a, a look at them in a little bit. Uh, it also comes with a lot uh, better instructions this time around. So uh, this one you get still in black and white, but again, you get fully detailed ways of how to handle the figure itself. Much better than I've seen from any other provider. Let me tell you, um, this, is probably, this is probably some of the best instructions that I've ever seen. <laughs> like you literally, you like they even have it in like English and in Japanese. So again, that's a uh, huge benefit it also comes with a uh, authenticity genuine product thing and then it also comes with a stand with multiple pieces so this thing is stacked again like i said mafex is my favorite toy brand like my favorite high-end toy brand and again they are once again showing why and again which is why i don't mind waiting for these releases because again i definitely feel like you know Whenever my effects might take a while to, to get it out, but you do know once it's out that it'll be special. And then, of course, you just have the Thor here with the cloth cape and the rest of the electric pieces. All right, let's officially get this thing open. All right, so we have Thor out of the packaging. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. As you can see, at first glance, the uh, only thing that stands out to me is the hands look a little small for the body. Um, and again, as far as like thick Thor goes, as you know, they kind of call him. Um, he looks pretty good. Like, I, I honestly think, and again, once we get into the comparison, I think the Marvel Legends version is a little bit, he looks a little bit more fatter. Like, he just looks like he has like a, a bit of a beer gut, but he looks still pretty good all in all. Um, let's go ahead and get him off the turnstile and uh, take a look at him close up so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. So again, as you can see, we get these crispy angles. Of th again, I love, love, love the fact that uh, Mofax does, you know, wired capes. Again, you look at this cape. It's like a nice royal red. The stitching in it is amazing. The wire goes all the way down the left and right hand side and then the 
bottom area is left alone. He looks good. He looks really good. And again, let's take a quick look at the head sculpt. Very nice coloring in the eyes. You can even see the one blue eye and the one regular eye. The hair looks good. You can see from the side it's a little gut. You can see he has a little bit of a gut, but it's not as pronounced as everything else. And again, here is the removable belt that we were talking about before. And again, the only thing, like I said, it just looks a little bit weird. Is just look how his arm is, and then he has these like tiny little hands. It just looks a little bit weird to me, is all. But overall, he looks pretty darn good. So let's just go ahead and get this thing moving again. And while we have uh, that out, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories uh, because there is actually a mistake in one of mine, and I'll talk about it in a second. So here, as you can see, the two. Uh, is, is this technically Monir? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Stormbreaker. This is Stormbreaker. So, yeah, so here's Stormbreaker in its axe form, and it comes in two versions. It comes with a translucent blue version that's supposed to represent him using his electric abilities. And then we have um, Stormbreaker in its regular version. Again, they're about the same exact height, they're made of the sturdy material. They don't, it doesn't bend like some other things, <laughs> uh, but it looks good. It looks really good. Now, here's the mistake. So, upon opening up my um, my box, I noticed that there were two uh, Monears, but both versions of the Monear that I got were exactly the same. As you can see here, they're both the regular base Monears and not one that's supposed to have the translucent electricity powers. They give me two of the same one. Again, it's not a big deal because honestly, like I've gotten dozens of these things lying around from custom versions to other versions. So to me, it's not a big deal, but that was just one mistake that was made in the one that I got sent. Uh, he also comes with two different head sculpts. This one is the exact same head sculpt, except both of his eyes are colored blue. As you can see there, looks good. Same hairstyle. The only difference is that his eyes are blue. And then we have the other version where he is screaming and he has a normal face. Now, it would have been nice if we had a screaming face with the electric eyes. That would have been pretty cool. But, you know... It is what it is. All right. He also comes with one, two, three, four, five pairs of hands, plus the other one makes six. And then again, you get the electricity effects for the weapons. And I'll show you how to put those on right now. All right. So let's go ahead and use Stormbreaker. And again, it's just a simple matter of sticking that on there. And then sticking the back end on here, however it ends up fitting. There you go. And here you have the charged up Stormbreaker. Looks good. It looked good. And then you can also put these around Thor's arms and wrist if you want to do all that. But again, like I said, I've shown those in the other Thor reviews that I've done. So that's kind of that. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is just show you the articulation, and then I'm going to go ahead and get the versus portion done. So let's go ahead and take this off. Stop this for a second. Let's go ahead and look at the articulation, because that is the part that most people care about as well, other than how he looks. Again, Moffax is known for having pretty good articulation. I am not noticing any super loose joints. Again, the waist. He can look down. He can look up. Left, right. 
And again, this does come off, but this is how you switch out the belt. So the ball joint here, and then you just plop that down, find a spot, and bam, pop that back in. Double jointed knees. Double jointed elbows. All the standards that you would want to find in a Moth X. Ankle pivot, toe hinge, it's all there. The head, you can get a little bit of left to right. You can look down about that far, and you can look up about that far. Again, the cape, bendy wire cape, looks amazing. You can kind of have it doing like the sweeping motion if you like. Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get the Marvel Legends out, and then we'll get this versus review started. All right, guys, so here we are with the versus portion of the video. As you can see here, I try to make it so that both versions of Thor are in a similar uh, pose and position so that they are kind of invoking the same kind of elements. And again, as you can clearly see from the uh, quote fat Thor or thick Thor uh, perspective, the Marvel Legends is clearly showing a belly protruding out versus the Moffax, which is giving him more of a muscular build beer belly than the uh, Marvel Legends. If we're talking accuracy, I definitely think that the beer belly that we saw in Endgame was more accurate in the Marvel Legends than it was in the Moffax. But again, that's just a small, tiny gripe that's not even worth taking points from each one. Again, just at first glance, seeing them together for the first time, even myself, um, I really think that uh, Marvel Legends did a fantastic job with their Thor. Again, just minor gripes with both. But I'm going to go ahead and get these both off the turnstile so we can take a look at them close up. All right, so we have both figures down off the spinner, and um, let's take a closer look at them. And again, we can just start to look at the uh, differences. Uh, right off the bat, we can kind of see here that the, uh, the hammer differences are pretty evident uh, from not only just the size, but the uh, effect pieces. And again, not necessarily in a bad way, but again, just different. So let's go ahead and get them close up. And um, let's take a look at the head sculpts. So again, minor differences that I would notice off the bat is that in the Marvel Legends version, Thor's hair is a little bit lighter, uh, whereas it is a little bit browner in the Monfax version. Again, and if you look at the eyes, you can see that the Marvel Legends Thor, he is in the powered up form, but his eyes are white and not blue. And whereas the Moffex version, again, is blue. Again, you can look at the uh, Stormbreaker differences, as you can see here. They're both in their powered up versions, as far as Stormbreaker goes. Now, one thing that I will mention is, um, let me go ahead and put this one back, is the one thing I hate about this Marvel Legends one is that this Stormbreaker, the, the sword, it's, the axe itself is very flimsy. Like, as you can see here, this thing is bending like nobody's business. You see? And if I bring in the Stormbreaker, the extra Stormbreaker, here is the Stormbreaker Moffex version versus the Marvel Legends version. And you can see that the Moffex version is massive in comparison to the Marvel Legends version, even right down to the axe. And again, even with the height. And the funny thing is, which makes it funny, is that the Marvel Legend is a bigger figure. But for some reason, the Moffex version got the axe perfect when the axe is supposed to be huge. Whereas Marvel Legends didn't really get that right. It's not bad, it's just not as accurate. And again, what I will give them credit for, though, is that they did a good job with the adding in the electric pieces. So that's actually pretty cool that they added that in as well. So there's that. And then again, you can look at this Monir versus the other one. And it's actually the exact opposite where the Moffex version of the hammer is smaller than the Marvel Legends version. 
And again, you can kind of see that Marvel Legends decided to go with the electricity and the actual hammer itself versus giving it some sort of like electric effect pieces on the um the sides of it. I'm not too sure how I feel about this because that's the if I had the one complaint about the Marvel Legends version, is I didn't like the little electricity things that they added on to the um the ends of the hammer. It just looks very cheesy and cartoonish. It doesn't I would have much rather them kind of go the way that uh Moffex did by just making the whole thing blue and then giving us little effect pieces to put around it kind of like how they do for um how, how Hasbro does for the lightning collection but again let's go ahead and um take a look at both figures side by side let's put them back here so as you can see here is a front shot then we'll turn it to the side here then we'll rotate it to the back. Of course, it's gonna fall on me. And again, to the side. As you can see again, that belly is really protruding out on the Marble Legends. I really like that. And then we go again, back to the front. And just for shits and giggles, let me also bring in, if I can get this other Thor to stand up properly, let's go ahead and bring in the other Moffex Thor that I own, which is the Avengers Infinity War Thor. One sec. And just because I can, let's also bring in the Love and Thunder Thor. Oh. And then we'll bring in Mighty Thor. As she tumbles everything over. And as you can see, we have the Jane uh, Mighty Thor next to the Mafex Thor. Uh, they look pretty good next to each other. Works very well. And then we'll go ahead and add in the other Thor here in the background so you can kind of see how they look together. There you go. And then we have the Ravager Thor, or I don't even know what you really call him. I haven't saw Love and Thunder. Good Lord. Sorry about that, guys. So here we are. We have the Marvel Legends, all three, plus the Moffex Thor all together. And again, they all look pretty good. Again, I am very, very happy with this Moffex version. Uh, and again, if I had to, again, honestly, let's let's just say it right here. If you're doing a versus with a Marvel Legends versus a Moffex, again, the Moffex is going to win hands down. Again, uh, the Marvel Legends, though, I will say once you actually put them up against each other, the Marvel Legends actually impresses me a lot more than I thought. I think body accuracy goes to Marvel Legends. I think uh, face sculpt goes to Moffex. I think accessories goes to Moffex. Again, and again, I think overall sculpt goes to Moffex. Again, that does not mean that the Marvel Legends is a bad figure. It's just that when it's going up against something as great as Moffex, it's just not going to win. But again, if you can only buy one, you absolutely can go for the Marvel Legends version. I mean, it, it definitely gets the job done if you can't afford to pay like $100 plus uh, for the, uh, the Thor. Now again, um, let me know what you guys think. Comment in the section below. Uh, just a heads up. I will be doing the Moffex Doctor Strange uh, review. I should be getting my copy in towards the end of this week, so stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions or concerns, let me know. If not, this is Sean of the King, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay.